in the opportunity. Uh, in fact, as our organizing chairman has uh, told in the morning, by evening you will be all saturated with quality. And uh, true, I'm in fact feeling a bit drowsy due to quality. And thanks to the previous speaker that she in fact pumped in a lot of energy and I can sustain for the talk. So I am supposed to speak on quality, uh, yeah, quality management in radiology and medical imaging. In fact, it is not my idea to go to all specifics of uh, quality management in radiology because the time is so short. My idea is to give an overview of uh, how a radiologist perceives quality and how in this run for quality we can contribute to the quality improvement. The slide is not working properly. It, uh, next text. Move. Nothing is happening. Can I have the uh, laptop here? That will be better. Yeah, OK. Right. So uh, just before the turn of the century in uh, 1999, this particular report by the uh, Institute of uh, Medicine uh, to err is human. It has uh, brought in a new perspective to the, the way you look at uh, hospital errors. This report, released in 1999, made a paradigm shift in the way we looked at medical errors. It stated that errors cause between 44,000 to 98,000 deaths per year in the American hospitals. It is not the sheer number the way the report put forward, it's, the analogy put forward was, was so striking. They said it is more than a full jet of passengers. Every day, it's as if a, a, a jet with full of passengers crashing every day to create that much uh, mortality. So it called for a 50% reduction in the errors over a five-year period by advocating a comprehensive approach to improve quality in healthcare delivery. Uh, so the, the important thing is that until then, most of these medical errors were uh, either negligences and uh, other things. But uh, this particular report has uh, pointed out that there, ha there, ca there has to be system improvements if we want to improve quality of healthcare delivery. So, after five years of this report, if you notice there, before 99 and after 99, the number of uh, publications about quality in healthcare, the editorials, the letters, the reports of original research, news items, they have more than doubled because there was an uh, increased awareness in overall healthcare pe people, the importance of uh, system improvements in healthcare delivery. So that brings us to the question, what is quality? I think the simple and elegant definition of quality is what is given by Henry Ford. Quality means doing it right when no one is looking or no one is uh, watching you, which means inherently there has to be a sense of quality in you to bring in quality. So several important trends are making quality the center of attention for radiologists and parties judging them. Let us look at them. Radiology is now becoming more visible and central in healthcare delivery. There is an exponential growth in medical imaging. Imaging is increasingly performed by non-radiologists who may not be equally aware about the quality aspects of radiology. Commoditization of radiology services in the global marketplace after introduction of PACS and teleradiology, you can buy radiology services at a, uh, depending on the, the market price. Uh, so, if you want to sell your radiology services, you have to prove that your, your quality is good. Responsibility for quality is fundamental to professionalism in medicine and radiology. So, quality in radiology means the right examination for the right patient, done in the right way, at the right time, for the right reason. This has to be followed by prompt and correct interpretation, quickly con communicated to the referring physician, and to the patient. So these are the aspects. All are important, the, the right examination, the right patient, done at the right way, in the right way and the right time, and for the right reason. 
So looking at the quality map of radiology, we have to understand what is happening in a radiology department or how this is being organized. So in a radiology department or medical imaging service, the ordering of the radiology examination happens. See, the, or the right examination has to be ordered. Then only you will get the right result. And this has to be communicated properly to the radiologist. Then scheduling the appointment, you have to get a appropriate, a proper scheduling, prompt scheduling. Then initial radiology encounter, that is the patient comes to the radiology department, at, at which time you have to uh, pre-screen whether the patient is uh, eligible or is, it, is, he, is he having, uh, is he the right person to undergo the examination? Is renal function is all right? Is he taking medications which are not suitable to undergo the test immediately? Uh, what is the age of the child? Uh, for example, if an MRI examination is being ordered, is he having any, any MR incompatible uh, materials in him? So that happens in the initial radiology encounter. Then the examination protocol selection. You have to understand that a CT chest done for an interstitial lung disease is different from a CT chest done for a pulmonary embolism. So you have to choose the right protocol for then only you will get the right result. Then the examination happens. So the technical aspect of the examination has to be perfect. Then the interpretation of images. Then the report finalization. In report finalization, you have to look into the medical history, the laboratory results, and the previous ex examination results to get the correct interpretation. Then the communication of the results. The communication of the result has to be prompt. And you can communicate to the referring physician. And uh, these days, the patients also demand communication, direct communication of the result to them. Then the, it all uh, results in the patient outcome. So, sorry. Previously, uh, in the earlier years, only, only x-ray was available. And so the ordering and examination was easy for, because that is the only thing. But over a period of time, newer technologies have been inducted into radiology and imaging. And now it is difficult. The, uh, the ultrasound has come. The uh, digital fluoroscopy has come. The CT and PET CT has come the MR and PET MRI has come, and the uh, cath lab with invasive radiology has come. So uh, it is difficult to choose the right kind of examination. It is not easy for a, uh, for a specialist in the other area to decide which examination is the right one for the right condition. So there are uh, uh, data available in the internet. Appropriation, appropriateness criteria has been developed by American College of Radiology, Liebman Radiology is there from Harvard Medical School, Choosing Wisely is there from the American Board of uh, Internal Medicine. But looking at these searches and then deciding on the, on, the investi on the investigation to be done may not be practical you know, for somebody who is sitting at the OPD and deciding. So now there are uh, effort has been made to bring it into the system where you can actually go by the uh, system, that is uh, cardiovascular imaging, GI imaging, IR imaging, suppose the patient comes with a GI complaint like dysphagia and then you can categorize the dysphagia and then you can give an appropriateness rating of the investigation. This can be included into the, into the system and uh, the, then the, depending on the rating you can choose which is the first investigation to be done. So quality control in radiology, regular Okay, quality, uh, there are three aspects of uh, quality management in radiology or, or any, any aspect, any, any, uh, uh, any field. One is quality control, second is quality assessment, and third is quality improvement. So like in quality control, it, it, this is actually uh, starts from deciding on equipment purchase. Right at the time of purchase, you have to decide whether are you purchasing the right kind of equipment, is it capable of uh, answering your requirement. Then regular testing and preventive maintenance of the equipment is a must. Evaluation of the image quality at every step, every day process. Evaluation of the processing parameters. Previously it was chemical processing, now all the post-processing in the digital world, digital uh, imaging. Then regular validation of reports. This validation has to happen from within the hospital and also from outside the hospital by a peer group. Prompt archiv archiving and uh, retrieval of images either by PACS or by uh, X-ray libraries, the conventional uh, analog way. Measurement of radiation dose. Medi radiation dose to the patient as well as the radiation worker have, have to be me measured and uh, documented. 
So uh, all these radiation-related issues are controlled by statutory body in India, the Atomic Energy Regulatory Board, AERB. And it is constituted by the President of India in 15 November 1983, and its function include develop safety codes for siting, construction, commissioning, and operation of different types of radiation facilities. So you have to get permission from these people and inspection, grant consents for the above and uh, uh, appropriate safety measures, safety review has to be uh, done, ensure compliance of the regulatory requirement by uh, periodic review, either by their own inspectors or by their franchises like uh, Directorate of uh, Radiation Safety, then prescribe acceptance limits of radiation for both radiation worker and the public. Second aspect is the quality assurance in radiology. In quality assurance, you have the access to services, how easy to get access, appropriateness of uh, utilization, which we have already talked, timeliness of scheduling, is it happening uh, 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 as, as and when required, patient pre-screening, again, we have mentioned before, protocol selection, again mentioned, waiting time, uh, waiting time from the uh, arrival to radio, uh, from uh, the, uh, from the uh, what do you call initial request to the scheduling and from scheduling to actual doing of the investigation and from doing of the investigation to provision of the report, waiting times. Then technical efficiency, how, how it is done properly or not. Then patient Dr. safety. Madhavan, can you wrap up please? Time is up. Okay. Uh, so we can skip all these things. These are the things, image interpretation, prior imaging uh, availability, repeat rate, misdiagnosis rate, pathological surgical correlation, everything. And these are all being now managed by National Accreditation Board uh, through their medical imaging services. They have uh, listed down all detailed uh, notes. In quality improvement, it is proactive process that aim to improve quality of care highlight and correct mistakes within the department or within the organization, analyze, understand, and improve work process, accept quality management as a dynamic and never-ending routine. So essential components of a quality improvement system within the organization are the institutional leadership. They have to uh, support quality management. Just culture. What is just culture is within the department or within the organization, people are to be, people, all the staff have to come out with their own mistakes. There, there should not be any any, any fear of penalization if they say they have committed a mistake. Process of management and customer relations have to be there. Quality management team has to be there. And the quality management team, uh, the inclusion of a, uh, a radiation physicist and a biomedical engineer are important. Continuous engagement of all staff in the quality process, use of appropriate tools and metrics. So metrics are important because uh, somebody told in the morning that uh, quality is uh, in the eyes of the uh, beholder, like beauty. So uh, such, uh, such kind of thing we cannot uh, uh, measure. You have to measure to uh, measure the quality, then, then only you can improve. So what are the quality metrics for radiology? For report quality, timeliness, accuracy, reliability, brevity, that is it has to be brief. Pages and pages of report will not make any, any sense. Clarity, it has to be clear to the uh, referring physician. Clinical relevance, use of standard lexicons, st structured reporting. And similarly, metrics for uh, uh, safety in radiology are labeling, wrong side studies, procedural complications, medication errors, falls, infections, con contrast reactions, clinical test reporting, and safe radiation safety. So in conclusion, uh, it, it has to be a team effort. So uh, radiology fellows, radiologists, the, the, the referring physician, radiology nurses, technicians, everybody are to work at tandem to give the uh, desired result. Any quality assurance program lacking genuine interest from the staff and initiated only as a regulatory requirement is unlikely to produce optimal results. Quality is never an accident. It is always the result of intelligent effort. So these are the last concluding slides uh, borrowed. This shows the uh, evolution of radiology from the early stages to imaging one where the uh, physicians got more involved, contrast agents came, new modalities came, that is from up to 1990. And from 1990 onwards, there was a technology explosion uh, where evolving modalities, uh, CT, MR, everything, PACS has come in, and knowledge base has widened, and consultant to referring physician interaction have uh, happened, and unprecedented demand for radiology has happened. And now we have to go for, forward to imaging three, where the high value care is there, and beyond interpretations, 
and assuming appropriateness, assuring appropriateness and uh, documenting the quality and uh, patient safety, action uh, reporting with uh, actionable reporting, and empowering empowered patients. So, in uh, in, in summary, oh, the radiology is moving from volume based to value based, transactional to consultative, radiology cent radiologist centered to patient centered, interpretation focused to outcome focused, and commoditized to integral and invisible to accountable. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. How far is that feasible in an age when radiology is a service provider, is a support service to the clinicians? Do you think you will be able to manage that to a great extent? Uh, it is not easy, but there are uh, appropriateness uh, guidelines available now in the internet from various uh, sources. Either you can refer that or as a new uh, way of uh, incorporating it into the ordering system, you can actually go by the selection criteria. That is the, the, uh, investi the symptom complex for which, which investigation is, is best. The best way is actually to directly interact with your own radiologist and come to a conclusion which investigation is suitable for this one. Persons to give me a memento to that. We do 